So hello and welcome to Fun Formula. Yeah, um, I'm really literally squidging this in because I'm on a six day week because when you work in retail, Christmas is your most scariest time. So this is a quick video before I pretty much go to bed, um, hence the very wet war hair and the sands of makeup, no, scary face. So uh, yeah, this is just a not even a short one it's just trying to fit things in so festive things I was gonna get I've got some angel wings in a halo but it, I just to be honest I couldn't be bothered uh, Christmas things though I do like Christmas as much as working in retail is an absolute ball ache I do love Christmas and Christmas wishes if I had to do Formula One Christmas wishes um, it would have been for Grosjean to get a drive, but I didn't need to because that happened today. Oh yeah, ching, ching, ching. Woohoo, Grosjean, Mr. Giraffe. Another year of perving. Right, uh, so yeah, so technically I don't need that wish anymore. Um, what else? Christmas wishes, to be honest. 2012 wasn't my, personally, a highlight of a year. It was pretty, pretty sad at times. Uh... The only good thing that happened to me in my 2012 was I met my boyfriend after, you know, three years of being a sad, lonely spinster. So, he's my greatest wish, and I'm really happy. Or I'd like, Christmas wishes likewise, I'd like a nice, nice new job. You know, and health and happiness, really. I don't ask for much. Christmas is not about asking for things, you know, like it's not commercial, well it is, but, you know, it's about being with your friends and your family, and making Christmas what you will, and I have a little tree, it's got a giraffe on the top of it, I'm happy. So, let's get on with da 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 da, -da this week's one, so I've got my phone, Whoa. so, we've got to discuss the following teams, so, Red Bull, Lotus, Force India, and Caterham, so, Red Bull. I'm, I'm checking an eye on the time, so uh, the time is up here, so I'm going to wait till now. So, Red Bull. Obviously, cracking season for them. Not really anything stands out, really, with them, uh, wise. Um, you know, Vettel did a good job, Weber did a better job, still rubbish starts. Knew he did what he always does. You know, it was the script rewritten, really. Um... If Ferrari had a better car, with Alonso's consistency, we won't be talking about Seb's triple world champion. Oh, triple world championship. Um, I don't know. I can never put my finger on Red Bull. Why I don't like them? Because I should. Because they're meant to be a bit more fun and you know sassy. And I don't know. I can't figure out why. It was nice to see Mark Webber get a few wins, especially in a uh, Monaco and other places I can't remember I'm very tired um, you know and Seb showed that he could overtake and you know from the beginning of the season he had to struggle so I think a job well done really for them too uh, Lo is it Lotus next? Lotus my, one of my personal highlights is the whole team I love Grosjean and yes he's made quite a few mistakes but it's only second season and it's his first season in the car there's room for improvement yes but I think it's gonna be good Raikkonen it's lovely to see him come not even come out of his shell but just be back to the same old Kimi we loved so dearly back in the day and I think Grosjean and Raikkonen are an actually great match because they seem to be very separate which obviously isn't necessarily a good thing but they don't seem to bother each other, and I like that. Raikkonen, obviously, <laughs> losing his way at Brazil was one of my favourite, favourite moments. And to be honest, Lotus on Twitter as well, and on Instagram and stuff, probably one of the best social for socialising with the fans, probably 
oh yeah um virgin when it used to be obviously that movie show and it was virgin were very very good at communicating with their fans but lotus have took one step further this year and they've been amazing and they've been witty funny and even though it's the off season they're still keeping us up to date still tweeting and it's lovely to see whereas some of the other teams have just disappeared into the abyss i think it's force india next Oh, poor Larista. That's it. They're not... I think as a partnership, Hulkenberg and DeResta were well matched. But it's not a team I'm like, oh my God, it's amazing. And Hulkenberg was a great lead in the race in Brazil. But it's not a team or... Even the drivers, where I'm like, yeah, best drivers ever, really support them, love them, love Metal Pump, woo! It's, it's never been like that with Horse India. I've just always, eh, they're very meh. That's the only way I could describe it. They're just a meh team, and it's horrible to say. But I don't know. It's nice to see their, you know, performances improve, because they're not exactly a massive, massive team. Um, but now with um, Hulkenberg going to... Sauber, yes, no, yes, going to Sauber, I just don't know really what's going on with the team, um, oh, I can't even talk, you know what, I'm bored, talking about poor DeResta makes me actually physically bored, um, Caitlin, Caitlin, Marusha, 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 it's Marusha, it's Marusha, um, and HRT, part of the same gang, Caitlin's car I loved this year. I thought it was beautifully... Out of all the ones with the dip nose, I thought it was the most beautifully designed. Um, but it was great for... I love Kovalainen and, and Petrov, and it's a shame that they're not being kept on as such next year. Um, I think there's a lot going on in that team. There's a lot of hand, you know, things changing hands. And it was lovely to see Vitaly Petrov get 11th, you know, being one place away from the points and clinching 10th place because that's, oh, hello, I'm popular, um, that, you know, clinching that 10th, you know, that all for that all-important 10th place because that's millions that KOM need uh, and it does give, you know, it does give the chance of progress but they've not wowed anyone, no, neither of the back three teams have wowed anyone, you know, They've put in some sterling performances when they've had to, but three years, still no points. I'm hoping that things change for Caterham soon. So yeah, that's my uh, fan formula. A uh, very soggy and fan formula. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty much going to go now and probably go to bed because I'm tired. So have a lovely week. Sweeties. <laughs>